Baptist. Baptist is a man-made. Baptist is a man-made religion. Baptist is a man-made religion. What I'm trying to show you is, 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 I'm trying to show you
supposed to expect nothing concerning priesthood. So, so you, that's, you come from the mighty tribe, the head tribe. That's why you see him at the top. So he said, he said the tents of Judah first, right? So we come out here first to show our people who they are according to the Bible, right? So we're showing you that you are Judah in the Bible. You're not, you're not no American black. You're no, Judah. No. You're an Israelite from the tri mighty tribe of Judah, right? So that's what we're showing you, right? So you say you didn't know, you, you didn't even know the I day mean, was. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what they call me over here now, but I mean, most of them are born over here now, so. Now, his is born over there, but. Yeah, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. Yeah. We were brought over from there over here on those cargo slaves. You remember, but, but, right, you remember right. this, right? It was black people, yeah. You remember this, right? Black people already over before they bought this place. Right, over, right, right. We were here before, See, before that, that's right? What kind of kind of get, get confused? They go, it was like black people already over here before they went over there. That's what they want you, bro. They want you confused. I know they do, man. They want you confused. So what I'm showing you is, I'm showing you a track of us, right? How how we got over here? You know, we came over here on slave ships, right? Judah Benjamin Levi, Southern Kingdom. Even from all the way down to Nephtali, it's a Northern Kingdom, right? That was a split in the in the body, right? So I'm gonna show you us, right? Read. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Read out. Judah morning in the gates thereof language. It says Judah, see? It's right there. Judah morning. That's talking about us. And the they gates thereof language, what? They are black. It's, it says they are what? Black unto the ground. So we're the color of the ground. What well, first man came from the, the dirt, right? Yeah. So what color is dirt? Yeah. So they tell you the original people were what? Black, black, right? Yeah. Different shades of brown, right? Yeah. So what I'm showing you is, you said black people are already here. You, you're right. That's the, the Northern Kingdom, right? Okay, that's the, the Puerto Ricans, so-called Puerto Ricans, gotcha. Mexicans, that's yeah, them. Yeah, okay, See, yeah. they used to be just as dark as you and me. Yeah. But now, they, they're not. But let's get back to the point. So I'm showing you who you are. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Let me go back and show you how we know this is us. Read. 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if we don't, we didn't listen to what God said. Read to observe, to do all His commandments. Observe means to look and and, and, and take and, and cast your eyes upon. Read and His statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses, all these curses, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So are we cursed in the city? I think so. Are we cursed in our neighborhoods? I think so. So who is that? You just said, you think so? It's us, right? Verse 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because with, we didn't serve the, the Lord our God. With joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So what he said, if we the servant, if you read Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 is telling us, if we did what the Most High said, we wouldn't have them problems. We wouldn't have never had these problems from 15 so down to 68. Have, we don't have the problem. Either. No, we have that problem now. That's what I'm saying. We always gonna have them probably. We're gonna have it until right? Christ, the, the Messiah, comes back. Right? Read, finish that. That was it. 48, 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. It says, that serve thine enemies. You have a job? No, no, no. Well, I'm working in a hotel and hotel right now. But you got a job, right? Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So if you want something to eat, where you go? Who, who owns that? Who? White people, right? Read. And in thirst and in nakedness. So in, if you want something to drink or to put some clothes on, where do we go? Do we own that? So that's telling you we're in what? We're in what? We're in slavery, right? Read. And in what of all things? So if you want anything, drive a life, theft certificate, put gas in your car, who owns it? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He said he shall put a yoke of iron upon it. Look on this picture right here. Yoke of iron on his neck. He got yokes of iron on his hand. He got on this one got yokes of iron on his neck, right? That's us, bro. That ain't happened to nobody other nation, right? That happened to only the Israelites. Right. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. So are we in a destroyed state? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we gotta go to another nation for everything because we disobeyed the most high. So today, I'm going to go back to what you said earlier. Today is the Sabbath. So you didn't know, even know the day was Saturday, right? That's how hard you're working. Your mind is not even cognizant enough to notice that this is the Lord's day. Bert, go to the Sabbath. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It said to remember, so think about it. To, to do what? To keep it holy. To keep it holy. That means it's set apart for who? 
It's set apart for you. Read. Six days shall thou labor. Six days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sundown. Read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. I was telling you Friday night sundown to Saturday sundown the Sabbath. You was about to read on. In it, thou shalt not do any work. He said, in that day you should not do any work. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Nobody should be doing nothing. Yeah, Go to the next the world, verse. The world, verse 11. They had America work though. No, that's how America, yeah, because why? They, when they brought us over here on the slaves, because we disobeyed the most high, they put in our minds that you got to work seven days a week. Oh, uh, they don't end on the seven. Don't, they, they, don't they, they never end. You never had a day off on a Tuesday. Right, you, know? you never got yeah. time off. Why? I thought, because I thought, I thought the Bible said that's why it ain't like seven, seven men. I'm going to say seven men, 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 men were made for seven, something like that, right? Right, right. So, I mean, my day could be like on my seven, my seven. No, no. Go, what about, go back to the top. No, that's uh, not that's what that's saying. 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 That's not what it's saying. Read it again. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. It says the seventh day is the no, Sabbath man. of the Lord. Not what day you choose. It says the seventh day. Like we got a calendar now. Right. It says Monday, Tuesday, yeah, through yeah. Sunday, right? Before we didn't have that, we called it day one, I, 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 day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. You knew the days. You didn't know no months called uh, whatever. What is it? October or November? Well, why, That's, why everybody do it like on Sunday though? Go to church and get Why? Like because, Sunday. You said why? They mess it up. They, they because we it. because we don't know who we are. That's why we do it on Sunday. But we had we, we, we were talk. We, we were though. talk. You said well, why they do it on Sunday? Because you were taught that by your slave yeah. master. You were taught that. You were taught that by your slave master. You were taught that by him. Yeah. Right. Right. I understand, but you gotta let me answer. You can't interrupt me in the middle of my speech, bro. Right? So, but you gotta slow down and let me teach you. See, you're, you're teachable. You're, you're listening. I under, that's good. We rarely get people that want to do that. But you want to know, so we're here to show you, right? I know. I know. Yeah, you good, bro. You good. But what I'm showing you is this. Once you know who you are according to the Bible, that's something that God requires of you. God requires you. Now you know who you are, right? You know you a, a prince from the tribe of Judah. You're a prince. Right. You're God on this earth. But that's you didn't right. know that. You didn't know that. So we're showing you that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. You know. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his ways. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. So that's the whole duty of man. Is to keep the commandments of the most high. Right? How do you do that? We taught you what the Sabbath. We're teaching you what the Sabbath is. Today is the Sabbath. Right? You don't buy, sell, or nothing on the Sabbath. I don't care what society say, right? The, 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 the Bible says, Lord, not the world, nor the things that are in the world. Right. We're here to survive. We're here in captivity. You're not here. This is not our rest. We think that, okay, I got a job. I got a place to live. And that's it. No, that's not it. You got to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments and do the will of the Most High. Right? Get Ecclesiastes 13 and 12. Right? Get up. 12, 13. 12, 12 13. I'm going to show you. I'm showing you. As a man, what's required of you? Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Verse 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Of the whole matter. What whole matter? About life. Read. Fear God and keep his commandments. It said fear God and keep his commandments. How do you fear God? I just, it just told you. Read it again. Fear exactly. God and keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. Read. For God shall bring every work into judgment. He's going to bring everything you, that you do that's contrary to his word into subjection. Judgment, right? So that's what we're showing you, who you are according to the Bible, right? You know that you're from the tribe of Judah. You know that you're an Israelite because you say you know the Bible, right? But if you know the Bible, let me give you one simple thing. that you, you It's a simple a commandment that you could be keeping that you know that you that you don't know that you should keep. But I'm gonna get this one first, 1970. Right? Not 17, the, the, the facial hair. 
Uh, right? So you're, you're, you're keeping one commandment that you don't even know that you're keeping. Read it. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you're keeping that commandment and you don't even know. You got a beard on your face and you don't shave it off. Right? It grows in. It, it can get thick. Right? Your beard can get thick. Right? I bet I got hair on it. It goes pretty good though, but, <laughs> but you got hair on your face. That's a commandment. I bet I got hair on it, That's a commandment. So don't don't ever shave that off. Right. How do you know a male lion from a female lion? Well, yeah, yeah. Alright, it got what? Yeah, right. What what kind? What is it called? I don't know what kind of man. It's called a mane, right? I guess so. You, you look, look at the like female, <laughs> she 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 looks like him, but she ain't him. Yeah. A, a beard is a badge of manly dignity. Right. right. What they, the first thing they did to us when they brought us over, they shaved the hair off our face and said, hey boy, yeah. only two people don't have fa ha facial hair, boys and women. Makes sense, don't it? So uh, what I'm showing you, another simple commandment is Numbers 1538. Another simple commandment that you can keep, that's very simple to keep. It's easy, because the, the, the laws of the Most High are not grievous, right? Read that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Yo. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Look at all the brothers out here. Look at the, the border of their garments. You see these things called fringes, right? right? Throughout their generations. That means you're supposed to have them on all the time. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So a ribbon of blue is supposed to go on those fringes once you put them on your garments, right? All your garments, right? And it, shall, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So when you get ready to do something wrong, you reach down and you grab your friends and say, oh, uh, I can't do that. I can't shave the hair off my face. I can't be looking at big booty Judy walking down the street. Bro. Yeah, even though it's going to pass, that, right? Man. Listen, listen, man. Listen. You know that internal, you know that that's, 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 that's the great in us, though. That's, you know right from wrong, that's like, that's no, like, no, yeah, no, no, right. what's, it should be engraved in your mind that's is these, these laws, that's the commandment. So when right. you see that sister, oh, she looks nice, right? Yeah. But I ain't gonna sit there and look at her cause yeah, she got, man, she man, got man. 34 D's yeah. and a 24 behind or whatever and say, oh, mm, yeah, now you yeah, saying it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It said, well, if you look on a, a look upon a maid, what, well, the Matthew, if you look upon a maid like that, it, it tells you what you've already done. Right. Yeah. Right? Read that. Matthew chapter 5 verse 27. Read up. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, have committed adultery with her already in his heart. So what it's telling you, when you look at that woman in, in that way, in, in a sexual manner, you already committed a, a no. sin. Right? You ain't saying you're you going to sin. No, no, no. Look, look, look how they dress today. You're going to see it. But do that mean that you're supposed to get in your mindset what you would like to do with that? No. He said that if you do that what? You've already what? You have already committed adultery with her already in your heart. You already committed adultery with her in your mind. Your heart is your mind, right? So what I'm showing you, bro, is what's your name? Marcus. Marcus. So what I'm showing you is that you got to come back to these laws that's the commandments according to the, the, the Bible. Get sin. What's sin, bro? Mark, what's sin? Huh? What is sin? sin? Yeah, what is sin? I pointed the sin out to you. I pointed the, the adultery. You have to take the commandments, man. That this ain't not to break those over there. Break those is sin. Right, right. But what is sin? I don't know. It's wrong. It's wrong. Going wrong. It is. It's, yeah, sin is doing wrong. But the Bible tells you what sin is. Read. First John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. To transgress something means to break it. For sin is the transgression of the law. Is it? Yes, sir. So, sin is breaking God's law. Just like we just told you about looking at the sister too long. That's the sin of adultery and fornication. But it's like you say, right? Too, it's like you say, too, we don't care about sin, though, right? Yeah, yeah everybody's sin, but do that mean you're supposed to keep no, sin? No, no, no. It's right? Right? So, we're supposed to what? Keep the laws, right? Yeah. When we keep the laws, we don't sin. You see what I'm saying? If I, if I know that I ain't supposed to steal from you, and I could, and I say, I'm not breaking that law. I'm not stealing from my brother. I just kept the commandments, right? You see what I'm saying? Hey, brother, how you doing? What's your name? My name is Will. Will? Hey, Will, you know who you are according to the Bible? 
What we showing our brother Marcus is who he is according to the Bible. If you look on this sign, what 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 do you follow on the sign? Well, my man, I'm from Death Star. That's a No, I'm talking about this. Yeah. This, this right here. This right here. This is it right there. It's a sign telling you who you are according to the Bible. Are you American black? No, I'm, 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 I'm I gotta be American. I got no mom and dad or grandma no more. You don't? No, but I'm you don't have to be American. You, you, I mean, you're, you're an Israelite according to the Bible, right? So what I'm showing you, you say your name is Will? You from where? I'm from this area. Yeah. It's just outside. I'm, no, so I'm from here. I'm from South uh, Carolina. But what I'm showing you, Will, is who you are according to the Bible. We out here to bring our people back to who they actually are in the Bible. Bro. Right? Somewhere right here? Yeah. Somewhere here? Yeah, in the hood. It, said, it tells us to go out they the highway. Listen, tell no, them tell no, us no, no, listen, listen, listen. The Bible tells you where to go and preach the word. Read that. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Read and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. It says, Go out and tell my people to come in to the Bible. Come and congregate with your people. Read. That my house may be filled. So his house may be filled. What's his house? Where well, we congregate at? You said you knew that. You didn't know that. Well, I'm telling you right now, you don't know the Bible like you think you do. You're talking to studied men right I've here. I've been in church ever since I was Church and church told you a bunch of lies because they told you that was Jesus Christ right there. Bro, Cut, are you tripping like you No, look, no, bro, look. They told you that was Jesus Christ. Is that Jesus Christ? I don't even fuck about that. I ain't asking if you gave an F about it. I said, is that Jesus Christ? Is it? In your mind, that's Jesus Christ. Try get the other right. picture. I'm like JJ off a good time. Right. And you yeah. ain't, this ain't JJ off a good time. This is the prophet's preaching like Jesus. Jesus. That's right. That's what Jesus looked like. A depiction of what he looked like. See, you got that man on your mind right there. You can put it down, bro. You got that man on your mind. So when you pray with your hands together, you see that man right there. And that's a man just like you. Not the father, that the, 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 the son that was sent by the Most High. Right. This is a damn pedophile that people Ooh, got man. hung up in their houses. Yes. Yeah, but you believe, that's who you pray to. I don't give a fuck about it. Uh, yeah, that's what you <laughs> say, but when you say, Lord, white Jesus, please uh, family, hear my I'll, prayer, no, so on and so forth. I pray for my sister every day. What day you go to church on? I go every Sunday, I'm out. I smoke weed in there. So what the Bible night. say, when the, what does the Bible say you should go to church? You see, I mean, where does the Bible say you? What day the Bible say I you should go to church? I went to church. Guys, what 20, day does the Bible say we should go to church? You see what I'm saying? Bring it up. This is the people that I asked him a simple question, and he can't answer it. Bro, he got some old dope. I don't get look, bro. Look, look, we're gonna read that. Read that the Sabbath. Exodus chapter twenty, verse eight. Read it Remember up. the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day. It's the seventh of the Lord thy God. Today is the seventh day. Sunday is not the Sabbath day. The oh, Sabbath? we can, the Sabbath, the, the, holy the, the holy day, the holy day, the holy day that the Most High set apart. Yeah, you tell me. Today, the you day, really the day is the day that the Most High set apart. See, we can't teach our brothers because they're so caught up in Christianity. They don't understand when the prophet trying to show them what to call them. Their brother standing up here swearing, saying, "Tell me, he go to church on Sunday." That's how you know. That's well, I work for BMW last. And you I've been work, working for BMW last 20 years. You say you get high and drunk. Does so the Bible what? tell you to do that? You say so. My mom and daddy did. So, See, we, are, we own this damn movie. Hey, do, do you supposed to smoke and drink? Does you the Bible? I say not get drunk, but drink wisely. Wisely, right. Dry, but, yeah. but you told me. I know, I know. I, I know everything. Bro, you say you do dope. Daddy, bro, you no, say. I smoke weed. Bro, That's all I do. Bro, same That's thing. all I do. That's all I do. That's all I do. Right. See? <laughs> you see the weakness of our people, man? That's I've wicked. I've been smoking since I was out. Get the, you know not your body's a temple of God. That's a great up. Right? I'm telling you, you say you smoke weed yeah, and you it. get drunk. You drink. You, I, know, I ain't gonna say drunk. get drunk. You say I you drink. Yeah. You say you drink. Yeah. Read. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Will, don't you know that you're the temple of the Most High? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So right now you tell me, Will, that the most I don't dwell within you because you say you drink and you smoke pot. Read. For the I temple mean, of God is too. holy. Which temple ye are? Your temple is holy. You ain't supposed to defile it. Right? Even on that path, it'll tell you that stuff will give you cancer. 
It tells you on that pot. But you know what? I ain't talking about your mother. Well, I'm telling trying to get your mind right. Bert, I don't live we try, side of town. I don't care what side of town you live on. We everywhere. You right. go anywhere, you're gonna see this purple and gold. Right. You're well, gonna see it every you go throughout the world. We there. Boots on the ground, wherever you go, we got it. Read. But I respect what you're doing. Let right. no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise. In this world, so you you showing you saying you think it's why that you said I smoke and I drink. That ain't why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you get leave that stuff alone right. because it tells you your Bible is a temple of God. You say no. You know what? When you say no, you are telling the Most High, I don't care about you. I don't love you. I'm not doing your commandments. I don't care what you say. Oh, when you think he come back, he gonna just pick you up and say, Oh, oh, you did good, son. I, I know you had a hard time. He put us here cause we broke the commandments. Right. He didn't put us here because we was doing what we were supposed to do. Because we broke his commandment. So you don't read the Bible. You don't know the Bible. I know the Bible. No, you don't know the Bible. I'm Baptist. Okay, you're Baptist. Baptist is a man-made. Baptist is a man-made religion. No, Baptist is a man-made religion. What I'm trying to show you, Will. And you, look, look. Will, 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 Will. Well, fuck the Bible. Look, you, see what I'm saying? you see the other brothers are hairy. I ain't got yeah, nothing else to say to them. No, we're not gonna tell you anything else. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.